Eating do's and don'ts. When you're following the keto diet, there's a few do's and don'ts to pay attention to. You're only going to experience the health benefits of the diet if you follow it correctly. So what should and shouldn't you eat on this popular diet? Below, you'll discover some of the key do's and don'ts you'll need to follow. Eating do's. The foods you'll want to focus on with the keto diet include fatty animal proteins, vegetables, natural fats and oils. A large part of the keto diet consists of consuming fatty animal proteins. This includes eggs, poultry, meat, and fish. Unlike a lot of other diets, when you're eating poultry on this diet, you'll keep its skin on to ensure you're consuming the essential fats contained underneath it. You'll also eat a lot of vegetables such as spinach, cucumbers, kale, and broccoli. In terms of oils, you'll want to stick to sustainable palm and canola oils, alongside natural fats like cacao butter latte. Eating don'ts. Now that we've looked at the foods you can eat, what about the foods you can't? The main things you'll need to avoid on the keto diet include sugar, alkyum, alcohol. So unsurprisingly, you'll cut out sugar from the diet. This is a common thing a lot of diets restrict. However, the keto diet is a little stricter than most, as it also prevents you from consuming natural sugars found in fruit. So besides being able to consume limited amounts of berries, you'll want to avoid eating any other fruits on the diet. You'll also need to swap artificial sweeteners for something such as stevia. Alcohol is also advised against when you're in the ketosis phase. Eating restrictions. As well as the foods you can and can't eat on the diet, there are some which should be restricted. This means you can eat them in very small amounts. The foods included here are starchy root vegetables, carbohydrates. While you can eat most vegetables on the keto diet, you'll want to limit the number of starchy veggies you consume. These include potatoes and root vegetables such as carrots and parsnips. Carbohydrates are also obviously restricted. You'll want to consume no more than 50 G per day, ideally sticking to 20 G per day for best results. A few ground rules to follow. To make following the keto diet easier, there are a few ground rules you can adopt. For example, you won't be getting much in the way of electrolytes, so you'll want to replace the ones you lose with sea salt. Rather than turning to electrolyte drinks, Drink chicken broth instead. You'll also want to avoid consuming low-fat or low-sugar products. If you're eating yogurt, for example, make sure it's full fat and not a low-fat option. You're going to need a good level of fat in your diet, so it shouldn't be restricted. Also, don't forget you're focusing on heathy fats. This means you can't just fill up on fatty junk foods. These are the basics you need to know when it comes to what you can and can't eat on the keto diet. If you want to gain the best results, you're going to need to follow these simple rules.